Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Broken Machine. Today I'm bringing you a short little guide on how to unlock the Phantom Bow in Battlefield 4 from start to finish. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to head over to the Battle Log website, click on the Lead Awards tab and then scroll all the way down and in the bottom left you'll see a little skull. Click on that and then once you get on the next page, enter the following three passwords in the order that they're shown on screen. Now once you've done that, head over to the assignments page and you'll see the various phantom assignments that will allow you to unlock the phantom prospect dog tag and the phantom camos. You don't need to do these right now but you will need to complete them at some point before you go down the elevator. Uh, you can collect the final stand dog tags at any time so don't worry about those assignments just yet. Um, the requirements are on screen and they will show in, in the battle log website so let's carry on. Now, as for the dog tags, only one of these will spawn on a map at any time, and they are map specific, apparently. Um, personally, I've not seen any of the other um, other maps uh, dog tags on each of the maps, so I, I do believe they are map specific. Uh, the following are the various maps of the known uh, common spawn points for the various dog tags. Uh, don't worry. These photo, uh, these images, sorry, are linked in the description below. So don't pause the video. Just check the description below, and you'll see some higher res images. Uh, for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 users, you will notice that some of these are out of bounds. Don't worry about those too much. Uh, just go on ahead and look for the ones that are in the playable area. Now, I'd highly recommend not. Uh, just running around the map randomly and looking around all over the place for the dog tags. What I'd recommend doing is, if you're on your own, is to try and um, try and do some kind of uh, routes. So, for example, if you're playing on this map right here, what I'd recommend is starting at this area here. Look, look to see if there's one in this box here. Then move into the Charlie flag. See if there's one next to these boxes here. Move into this little room to the outside of the flag, and there might be one on the toolbox here, and there might be one on a kitchen, uh, sorry, a worktop of some kind on here. And then once you've checked that area, just go outside and see if there's one on these uh, cars out here, and then retrace your route, uh, retrace your steps, and go back and forth. And just, you know, you might find it easier to find a tag like that. Um, personally, I spent hours looking for a dog tag, and I managed to get this one that's on screen right now. It took me forever. Um, I logged into one of my friend's accounts because he, he was at work and asked me if I'd have a quick look. And on the second game, I found this tag here. It's just, you know, sometimes you'll get lucky and sometimes you'll spend hours looking for them. So I definitely recommend trying to form some kind of route. Now, once you've got one of the tags, what you want to do is get a bunch of friends together, each of you having a different dog tag, and all equipping the Phantom Prospect dog tag on the right-hand side, along with the various uh, Phantom camos on your weapon and soldier, and then you head into the elevator. Eventually, you'll get down to the bottom, and you'll see a little force field there, and on the right side is a keypad. Now, you want to enter the following code that's shown on screen right now into that keypad. Once you've done that, you'll be able to go in, grab the Phantom Bow, and go ahead and use it. Um, I'd also say um, on the top of a little box on the side here there's a little document uh, you want to pick that up as well um, that unlocks the the final uh, phantom assignment um, but apparently it's currently bugged right now so you won't be able to see it on the battle log website but you will you should be able to see it in the scoreboard at, at the end of the scoreboard at the end of the round um, so that is pretty much all you have to do um, it is kind of frustrating trying to find the dog tags. Highly recommend trying to form a route of some kind. Um, and you can use the MEV. Uh, if you use the MEV to look around, you can see uh, on some maps uh, the dog tags using the thermal. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you don't get too frustrated trying to find this. It, I, I did get frustrated personally. Um, the Phantom Bow itself is it, pretty good. It's nothing, it's not overpowered, it's not something that's game breaking. Uh, so if you don't want to go get it, you're not going to be missing out too much. But it, it is fun to use. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. Please rate it if you don't mind. As always, guys, take it easy. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.